Okay, now let's take a look at how do we do this for finite, uh, for, for an example equation. Okay, and uh, so let's first uh, look at finite difference. Let's look at a finite difference approximation to the one dimensional and two dimensional Poisson's equation. So, one dimensional Poisson's equation would be this. And after we discretize it, we have ui plus 1 minus 2ui plus ui minus 1 divided by delta x squared equal to f of i. Okay. So let's just look at this equation. Can we already tell which term corresponds to the lower diagonal part, which term corresponds to the diagonal part, and which term corresponds to the upper diagonal part? Can we? So the first term is lower or upper? Hmm? Upper, right. So this is u. How about this term? It's the diagonal part. So we are lucky that for all the i's, the diagonal term is non-zero. So Jacobi iteration is applicable. How about this one? This is going to be a lower diagonal part, right? So even without constructing the matrix, we can already apply the Jacobi iteration method by moving all these terms into different sides. And of course, this corresponds to the b in our equation. So let's keep the d term on the left hand side and move all the other terms to the right hand side. What we have is minus 2 over delta x squared times ui is equal to fi minus uh, ui plus 1 over delta x squared minus ui minus 1 over delta x squared. Okay, Poisson's uh, Jacobi iteration method, what we do is we keep the diagonal part to be an unknown and the lower and upper diagonal part to be known. So these are index k and the ui, the diagonal part is index k plus 1. So this is going to be our iteration, right? 